What's up guys, it's Casey Sogelman, aka the fourth Sanderson sister coming at you with another Hocus Pocus top five video. In today's video, we are counting down my picks for the top five Winifred Sanderson moments in Hocus Pocus. And just as a quick disclaimer, I will not be including I put a spell on you in this list as that is not specifically a Winifred moment. That heavily involves all three sisters. So I put a spell on you is out of the running. Just a heads up. So with that out of the way, um, guys, we only need, as of this moment, 17 more subscribers and you guys get the Hocus Pocus live stream on September 29th. Y'all can do it. We are this close. I feel like these last 20 are going to be a real uphill battle. So if you're even considering it and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Please, it'll help a lot. Everybody's really, really wanting that. I've had some vocal, vocal subscribers saying how much they want this live stream. So, 17 of you in the 70% of people who are watching these videos and not subscribed, hit the button! Hit the button! Thank you. Now with all that out of the way, let's get started with the top five. Winifred's first and second displays of her unique magic are electrifying. It shows her powerful stature, her show no mercy attitude, and her arrogance. We know all we need to know about Winifred Sanderson from those powerful demonstrations. We, we just know what she's going to be like for the rest of the film. Punch first, ask questions later. Behold. <laughs> this is one of very few moments where we see Winifred just be silly in her own way, of course. Um, she's not like slapstick like Sarah or just off the cuff like Mary. It's, it's quick, but it's hilarious. She looks so overjoyed when she walks into the kitchen to discover the cooking tools, only to assume they are used to cause pain. Only in Worst Cook's book, Boot Camp are they used to cause pain. Big Food Network junkie. This is a brief glimpse at Winifred's reserved naivety, proving that she too can be bamboozled by the 20th century. <laughs> All right, you little trolley mom. Ah! I'll have your guts for God as girls confound you. One thing we love about Winifred Sanderson is she isn't afraid to say some dirty words. Only the ones she uses are far different than what we would say in our everyday lives, or every now and then in our lives, depending on hevil how heavily you swear. <laughs> Apart from the common damn, she uses a colorful array of colonial and Shakespearean language to express her frustration. Thank you, Bette Midler, for making this possible, because apparently she had a dictionary of, uh, old-timey curse words with her at all times to use as, a uh, Winifred. That is dedication, folks. That is dedication. <laughs> Let me make one thing perfectly clear. The magic that brought us back only works tonight. On all Hallow's Eve, when the sun comes up, we are dust. Dust? Toast. Toast. Burning! <laughs> Fortunately, the potion I brewed the night we were hanged would keep us alive and young forever. <sighs> Unfortunately, the recipe for that potion is in my spellbook, and the little wretches have stolen it. Therefore, it stands to reason, does it not, sisters dear, that we must find the book, brew the potion, and suck the lives out of the children of Salem before sunrise? Otherwise, it's curtains. We evaporate. We cease to exist. Dost thou comprehend? Winifred's monologue is one of the only true 
speeches in the film, and it is delivered impeccably. She lays it all out for us in a couple of minutes, and we know what is going to happen in this story. Her dramatic flair, her serious tone, and commanding voice keep us hanging on her every word. Not to mention, this is the key speech that proves my theory that the Sanderson sisters are in fact the protagonists of Hocus Pocus, so if you haven't watched that, you really need to. I'm very proud of that video, and you can watch it by clicking on this thing right here. Please go watch it. I really enjoyed making that one. A glorious morning makes me sick. The first words uttered out of Winifred's mouth are without a doubt the most iconic in the entire film, right next to the tagline. This is the first impression we get of Winifred, and it tells us everything we need to know about her personality. We love this moment. We quote this all the time. I'll give you a fun fact. This quote is my alarm clock that wakes me up every morning for work. Seven o'clock hits, Winifred announces it's another glorious morning and that it makes her sick, and I agree because I am not a morning person. <laughs> There's also just so much merch with this quote on it. It's just that iconic. I love that quote because it sums up my feelings almost every single morning because I like sleep. <laughs> it's so great. It's peak Winifred Sanderson sass, and we live for it every single time she says it. So there we have it. Those are my picks for the top five Winifred Sanderson moments in Hocus Pocus. What do you guys think? Do you agree with my picks, or would you have chosen something else? Or would you have just shuffled the roster a little bit? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you are new to my channel, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. It helps me. And what helps me helps you guys get more great content like this. Like this beautiful bonus episode I've been, I'm have been i bringing you this Friday. Because you guys have been really smashing the subscribe button. Hey, 17 more of you. Do it. Do it. Hit the subscribe button. Because I have issued a challenge that if we can reach 1,000 subs by September 15th, on September 29th, I will be doing a live stream watch along of Hocus Pocus on the channel that night. We'll hang out in the chat. We'll do a running commentary on the film. You guys can ask me questions. I'll answer them. I will tell you guys when to press play on your screen. That way we can all watch it together because if I tried to stream this movie myself, Disney would come down hard on me and I don't want that. <laughs> I want to live to see Hocus Pocus 2. Um, the overall goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers by September 30th when Hocus Pocus 2 drops, which we are all getting very, very excited about now that we've gotten that teaser trailer and the first look at our girls. Ooh, baby! <laughs> so, I would love to have a thousand of you here for that, because I'm doing a full watch along on the channel. That's right, you guys will get to see me watch and react to Hocus Pocus 2 for the very, very first time. Which means you're prob probably going to be seeing me uh, cry for most of it, like I did in the teaser trailer reaction. Um, if you're a regular on this channel, please remember to drop a like and share your thoughts on this topic down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zogelman, a.k.a. The Fourth Sanderson Sister, and I will see you witches and wizards later. I am